Okay, so in this tutorial we'll see how you can use the noise autoencoder to conduct imputations. The noise autoencoder is a neural network that contains an encoder and a decoder. What you do first is do an initial imputation using mini-mode imputation and then you feed the data. So the first thing that does it's, it is that it sets a percentage of the input data equal to zero using a dropout layer. Then it sequentially maps the data to a higher dimensional space using a theta hyperparameter. That's what the encoder does. Then it sequentially maps the data to a lower dimensional space till it reaches the original dimension. Visually, you can see that like this. First, you have the input layer, which drops some of the values by setting them equal to zero. Then you have three hidden layers and uh, each hidden layer maps the data to a higher dimensional space. Then you use the decoder to go from this space back to the original space by reducing the data to the original dimension sequentially. How you can use, how you can conduct the noise autoencoder imputation in Python? Let's see. First of all, you need to get the new die.pyy file from the GitHub. And what you do is from new die import the noise autoencoder. Also, you will need to import pandas as pd because this method uh, uses pandas as input. So, uh, train data. You create a data frame with missing values or you use your data. Then you call the class. Uh, you can specify the parameters using a dictionary. You can also, you also have to specify the column names. Uh, for the names parameter and vmaps, which uh, is used for categorical features, where you specify the name uh, of the column and the values uh, that it can take. Then you call the imputer on the train data, and then you call the imputer using transform to conduct imputation on train and test data. The result will be a tuple. Uh, which will have in the first position the imputed data, the new column names, because if you have mixed data, it will split them and change the order, and the vmaps, which will be the original ones, so you won't have to care. Let's run this and see the result. Boom! Our trained data have been imputed. Great.